All right, we are here with uh, Robert Thibodeau, who is the uh, mastermind and brilliant, positive genius behind Mayflower Books, Mayflower Bookshop in downtown Berkeley, Michigan. Robert, what's new? Well, today's little poetic wisdom thing that came to me this morning, you know, um, is that without freedom, everything is lost. Without love, nothing is found. And so I've been kind of pondering that one, you know. You know, people do things in the world, and, we, and it's our response that makes, like some, you know, it's our response that makes it all happen. And I think what's new with me and ever new about is that I finally learned to sit still in my mature old age. Just a wee bit, you know, I can sit still. And when I sit still, I can see anything. New things come to me all the time. I'm free of myself. And it's very hard to get free of yourself. So one part of me loves everything way too much, and the other part of me has finally learned to be kind of a knight of stillness. And in that stillness, I can digest my past and I can make room for something new to happen, you know, that is authentic and legitimately connected, you know, uh, free of myself to interact with other selves, you know. So what's, what's also happening is I'm a gardener and it's mulberry season and the blackberries or raspberries are coming in and the asparagus is leaving and the roses all had a big flash and now the lilies are coming. And um, I think there's another flash of roses later. So as you get older and mature, you should look to bloom again. You know, in your second rose season, of, you know, the rose rises above the thorns of your life and, and shouts up some song, you know. And I'm making more music, so that's what I'm doing, and finding more books. Is that what you wanted to know? Like yeah, like how's, yeah, how's the music going? Um, you're fairly prolific. Every time I come by, you've always got a new CD that you're. Yeah, I'm making. You, know, like, on. you can go on YouTube and look up Mayflower Bookshop and see like 14 of my last two CDs of the 30 songs. But I'm back with Tino, you know, from the Howling Diablos, and I'm making some more music and working with Carolyn Striho and. Um, I can't help but make up songs, you know. And I'll be appearing in my living room tonight. And this morning I was appearing in the bedroom on the bed. Yeah, a big <laughs> show right there. And then I, I often play with the birds. You what's, know, that, what's the cover charge? Uh, in oh, your it's living free room. if you can find me. It's kind of like when you go swimming. They go, you know, I was swimming again. And there's no motorboats. And they go, what lake were you on? They go, if you found me there, you found the lake. You know, it's a Celtic <laughs> thing. Because the last lake outside Van Arbor I talked about, now it's all full, you know. So, so you have to keep finding new spots a little bit. But I love sharing, you know. I love sharing with people. But it's only when we can be quiet and uh, people are afraid to die for some reason, you know, but you should die daily. And, and today's a good day to be born again, too. <laughs> How can you get born again if you don't die? So I think dying is that you put yourself to rest and, um, and you think about all the love you wish you had and wish you could have fixed things and wish people were happier. And, and it gives you some fresh look. And when you look at all the world's suffering... And, and you think, well, what could I do today that would help, you know? And uh, I get beat up regularly trying to help people. I just get beat up, you know? And um, so... And what keeps you going? Forgiving. Like, forgiving is for means future and giving yourself to the future of the needs of the future. So, you, you know, if you have little kids where you care about the little ones, the trees and the animals and the flowers, you just kind of rush in and do stuff to help them. And, and you don't really think of yourself. But you have to have some kind of wisdom. The wisdom comes from that silence. If you don't have any wisdom, you might just rush out and kill yourself for nothing. Or you get bit by those repeat offenders that always bite your hand when you're feeding them. And so it's really difficult to help people to help themselves. And that's why I'm into educating. You know, the book thing, we, we all have it all inside of us. We don't need anything else. But the books are to help you articulate and give a vocabulary to the gold and the treasure chest. So the books help you a little bit to learn the lessons that uh, other people have already learned you know so speaking of books this is the mayflower bookshop in downtown berkeley what's the address and what days are you open uh the address is 2645 12 mile and uh berkeley michigan we're we're between woodward and greenfield in berkeley and we're open wednesday thursday friday and saturday from noon to six when i can get here on time <laughs> great thank you robert it's, bless your heart it's great chatting